meet is Michael. Yeah, Michael. Dancing on air, yeah, this dog can't compare it to Michael. Yeah, Michael. There's an outfit called Thriller, it's no fright. Then there's Billie Jean and Beat It, looking just right. And three of the outfits, they're all out of sight. Looks so much like Michael from head to toe. Put the mic in his hand and he'll steal the show. I love you, Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson doll, new from LJN. Reach for the sky, boy. KK, hook shot him. He had a big ass booty. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on, you reactionary Mark Todds and you hustlers out there? It's your man's A-Track Brown. This is the PW Hustle. So, I'm finally reacting to this. This is a reaction that was years in the making, okay? Uh, as usual, like I said before, this is not like a promo trying to expose Walt Clyde. This is a reaction that will, um, you know, that will expose Walt Clyde. You know, it's not a promo. Like I said, I'm not doing promos on this dude for a while. I'm, I'm done with that. This is just a regular ass PW Hustle, H. Rock Brown reaction. And how can I not react to this? Because this man said R. Kelly could beat Prince and Michael Jackson in a versus, okay? And I'm even going to have some help from comedian Ryan Davis, who actually inspired me to go back and continue this rea and do this reaction. A lot of you guys wanted me to do this, and I just never got a chance to do it. And then when I was like, you know what, I need to do this, he made this private. And I said to myself, why would he make this private? Was he getting too much flack for it? Then I realized something. When I went back into my old computer to see if I had this archived, because I archived a lot of his shit, I realized why he made it private. And, and, and I'm sure... I know for a fact that we're going to get to that, and I'm going to, and, I, and, and you'll see why he made it private. Now, these are all opinions. That's true, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know. So here we go. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Follow me on Twitter at track Brown, the number eight T R A C Brown. Do not forget that the P W Hustle is on TikTok at P W Hustle. Join the Hustle Fandom Group. All right. Donate to the Cash App if you want. Donate to the channel if you want. <laughs> Remember, fifteen G's, a quinceanera. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but here we go. Let's start the show. Boosie has been forcing his opinion on us against our will for years. And I ain't never say nothing because whatever. But today the disrespect is out of hand. He had the audacity to say. I can't even say it. I'm this play. It. Nobody got more hits than our kid. You gonna have to put him at a versus with Spotify. He would dog Michael Jackson. Ain't nobody else that I don't see. R. Kelly would smoke Michael Jackson in a version. Nobody got more hits than R. Kelly. Nobody. No one has more hits than R. Kelly. This is Boozy saying this, by the way. This isn't even Walt Clyde. This is, we, just started, we just started the video. Boozy saying no one has more hits. No one has more hits than R. Kelly. Do y'all know how many hits R. Kelly has? First of all, let's establish what a hit is. Because there, there's this problem with a lot with a lot of black people, unfortunately. A lot of black people feel if you hear the song a lot in your neighborhood, that means it's a hit. If the song is being played on black radio, that means it's a hit. That's not a hit. A hit is top 40. Now, you can have R&B hits. You can have country hits. But the overall top 40 is what matters. And in that, in, in, in that category... Do you know how many hits R. Kelly has? Do you know how many hits Michael Jackson has? All right, so this is a different topic. But 
everybody can relate to this topic because everybody loves music. Shit, music has a lot to do with wrestling. Whether a wrestler gets over anyway. So everybody... Why the fuck is this nigga flexing in the fucking mirror? <laughs> He's flexing for dudes because there ain't no chicks on his channel. He's flexing for dudes. I've been listening to both these dudes since I was fucking five years old. <laughs> he looks ridiculous with that crap on his head and those headphones. Wait, what? Hold on. He said he's been listening to R. Kelly and Michael Jackson since he was five years old. This nigga's 35. So, since he was five, R. Kelly's first record was 12 Play. That shit came out in 1993. Since he was five, huh? But whatever. <laughs> maybe he was. I don't know too many kids that were listening to R. Kelly at five. But maybe he was. He was listening to R. Kelly since he was five. Here we go. Of a dude that said R. Kelly's music catalog was better than Prince's catalog and Michael Jackson's catalog. <laughs> it's obvious that the people who say this shit are retarded. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're slow. Something is wrong. If, I know it's a. I know it's an opinion. I get it. I know. But <laughs> listen, if if you like both music, both genres, you know of Michael Prince and R. Kelly. I, I, it's it's opinions, but but let's go. But here's the thing. Look, man. Look. If you are a white boy, I'm sorry, man. It's like your opinion of this topic, it don't hold weight. And here's why. Because. What? Michael Jackson's music. Okay, here's, here's why. His whole demographic was all skin colors. So, of course, as a white person or a non-black person, you are going to say... Michael Jackson is better than R. Than, than um, R. Kelly. Of course, you were gonna say that because. Pause. Let First of all, where the hell is he in the laundry room doing this? What the hell is that noise in the background? But here we go. Of course, you were gonna say that because let's keep it all the way funky. Let's keep it all the way one hundred. Do white people listen to R. Kelly? Pause. Yeah, white people do listen to R. Kelly. Maybe not on a large scale of Michael Jackson, but white people do listen to R. Kelly. Do Asians, yes, Asians Mexicans, yes, Mexicans listen to R. Kelly? Any other race besides black people? Do y'all listen, listen to R. Kelly? It, 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 he's not too wrong. They, they, it, the majority of, 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 of people who listen to R. Kelly most likely will be people of color. You know, versus the people who listen to Michael Jackson. But that doesn't mean because you are of a different race that you don't get to have an opinion on this particular subject. We ain't talking about fucking skin bleaching here. We're talking about music, which, like he said, everyone loves. So you being white, Mexican, Asian, it doesn't matter. You can have an opinion on this. If you listen to R. Kelly and you listen to Michael Jackson, it doesn't matter. You can have an opinion on this. Let's go. So why should I value your opinion? Why should anyone value yours? You're a moron! Internationally, right? Around the globe, he's universally loved. So y'all think he's untouchable, him and Prince. I'm talking about musical catalogs, song for song. If R. Kelly and, and uh, Michael Jackson had a versus battle, R. Kelly would beat him. Okay, um... Ryan, explain explain to some of these people what Versus is. For those who don't know, Versus is a concert series created by Swiss Beats and Timbaland where two artists go head to head performing their catalog. And you believe the greatest performer to ever live will lose. So knowing... 
what versus is, knowing how versus works, he is telling me that Michael Jackson and Prince would lose to R. Kelly. That's what he's saying. Let's hear his explanation. Let's go. R. Kelly would beat his songs. <laughs> what? Let's just let's just, let's just be real. <laughs> Let's just be real. How? R. Kelly would beat Michael Jackson's catalog and Prince's, and here's why. Nobody was bumping Michael Jackson music in the 90s like that. What the living fuck? This, this, this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is nigga shit. This is straight up nigga shit. This is, this is shit. I'm not lying. This is shit that niggas in the barbershop say. Some of you brothers know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the type of shit you hear in the barbershop. He said. <laughs> No one was bumping Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson fucking owned MTV in the 90s. How many R. Kelly songs you heard on MTV in the 90s? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Yo, what the hell is he talking about? Here we go. Hold on. Pause. For, for, first off... <laughs> Bad came out in 1987, okay? People were still bumping Bad in the 90s. In the 90s. Then you had Dangerous, okay? <laughs> what the hell does he mean? People wasn't bumping my, Michael Jackson in the 90s. Or Prince for that matter. What is he talking about? Nigga, you wasn't even old enough to remember if they was bumping uh, Michael Jackson in the 90s like that. You have no clue what you're talking about. Here we go. I would say possibly more non-black people were bumping Michael Jackson more than R. Kelly in the Well, that might 90s. be true, yes. Because in the 90s, R. Kelly, again, came out with his record in 1993. And in 1993, you know, it was an R&B record. And most white people in 1993 did not listen to R&B like that. He's right. So there's a truth to that matter. But also, you got to remember, the reason why this is bullshit. In the 90s, you couldn't escape Michael Jackson. Not everybody was fucking with R. Kelly like that, and not not everyone, not even not even all black people yet. It took a while. Twelve play, twelve play was the shit. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like R. Kelly came out in the nineties and everybody forgot about Michael Jackson. They may have forgot about Aaron Hall, but they didn't forget about Michael Jackson. Here we go. R. Kelly's fan base is really is really all African Americans. And that's not, so of course that's, his, that's on him. Michael Jackson's better. Pause. No, you're not going to say Michael Jackson's better just because mostly black people listen to R. Kelly. That doesn't make Michael Jackson better. What makes Michael Jackson better is his songs. It's his songs. That's what makes him better. It's his dance moves. It's the way he can entertain. It's the way he sings. The man's been doing this since he was a child. Since he was a child. This is why you can't... And another thing. In the 90s. No one was bumping Michael Jackson more in the 90s. You still heard Jackson 5 being played in the 90s. You still heard the Jackson 5 being played in the 90s. Timeless classics that will go on forever. Here we go. But fuck the fan base. I don't talk about song for song. That's like saying... Oh, he said, fuck the fan base. He's going for song for song. Okay, okay. Here we go. Um, Let's let's talk about MC Hammer. He sold a lot of records in the early 90s. But we all know why. His 
the, the majority of his record sales came from non-black people. Go and watch his movie. Too legit to quit. Pause. Um, most record sales are of white people. And here's why. <laughs> because black people, especially back then, we didn't go to fucking HMV, The Wiz, uh, 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 Tower Records, you know, later on, The Virgin Megastore. You know where we went? To the Africans, to the Asians, because most black people bought shit on bootleg, even when it came to R. Kelly's album. So a lot of the people who bought R. Kelly's music actually were a lot of white people, but a lot of black women. It was a lot of black women who was buying R. Kelly's music in the 90s. And black women will buy a, 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 a CD and listen to the same song over and over and over. I'm not kidding. I'm not making this shit up. That's a stereotype, but it's a fair one. I'm telling y'all, when black women buy albums, they will listen to the same. They will buy it for one song and listen to that song over and over and over again and don't even play anything else. I'm not even making that up. But <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Like Tilly. Where the hell is he recording this at? He has high level of record sales, but does that mean he's better than than, uh, than Ice Cube? Does that mean he's better than Snoop no. Dogg? Just 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 because he sold more records? No. Pause. And that's why he made this video private. History lesson. I was in the comments section of my videos, and people were telling me Walt Clyde gets more views and yada yada yada, and we all know his views are paid for. Um. And I said to some of them, I said to some of them who are actually probably him, I said, just like Walt Clyde said, and, and I'm not the only one. I had people, other people in my comment section who watched this particular video and, and, and was throwing that right back in their face. And they said, didn't Walt Clyde say, I said as well, that just because you sell more records doesn't mean you're better. So because you buy your views and your subs, and you don't have more subs than me, but just because you buy your views... And you may have more views than me when it comes to this wrestling thing. Doesn't mean that you're better. Because you're not. And we all know that. So that's why this 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 video got deleted. That's why this video is remaining hidden. That's why. Now he probably might put it back up. After I expose this. Because that's what he does. And he'll talk shit later. But that's what he, that's that's why he made this video private. That's at least at least that's my belief. Because why else would you make this private? Here we go. It's like <clears throat> if you tell any white person or non-black person, hey, who is the best rapper of all time? Nigga, they gonna tell you fucking Eminem. No. Pause. No. You be some, it, it, First of all, it depends on the white person. If you go to a Rock the Bells concert and you ask a white person there who's the best rapper, you ain't gonna hear Eminem. You're not. You might hear somebody from Wu-Tang, but I tell you, most white people who are into hip-hop like that, who are into hip-hop, I'm not talking about fair-weather uh, 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 white people who only listen to hip-hop if they hear it on, if they heard it on MTV back in the day or something like that, but most hardcore hip-hop white fans will tell you that Nas is the best rapper. I'm not making this up, and I don't even consider Nas the greatest, but most white people will tell you that. You'll have white people who are not up on hip-hop like that who are leisurely hip-hop fans, and they might tell you Eminem, but that's a different debate, so let's just keep going. For that, we're not black people. At the end of the day, hip-hop is a black sport, <laughs> okay? RB is a black sport. Let's just keep it all the way real, okay? That nigga Eminem, that he is a mean guest that white people in, don't get to in have hip hop. Opinion on okay, who's we were nice oh, enough here we to go let him in. Shit. Okay, he should have fucking Jamal. wiped his feet off. Okay, he should be lucky we let his ass in, but he ain't the he ain't the best of all time. That's debatable, but please stop acting like you Lord Jamal because you're not, and he sounds like a moron too. Can you, off the top of your head, can you name me ten songs of Michael Jackson that are hands down better? Then R. Kelly's best 10 song. Yes. Keep it in the closet. Bad. Dirty Diana. Smooth Criminal. Beat It. Billy Jean. Thriller. Uh, Human Nature. Off the Wall. The Girl is Mine. I can keep going. Black and White. Uh, <laughs> I can keep this going forever. 
I can keep this. I can literally keep this going forever. Don't stop till you get enough. Human nature. Do you want me to keep going? I can even go as long as his, his unpopular songs, like Earth Song, Blood on the Dance Floor, Rock My World. Yes, there are people who can name dozens of Michael Jackson songs way better, that are way better than 10 R. Kelly songs. You couldn't even name 10 R. Kelly songs. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. If I told you to name 10 R. Kelly songs at the top of your head, if we was face-to-face, -face, you would take about six minutes to get those 10, 10 songs together in your head. It's not going to take someone long, as you can see, to get 10 Michael Jackson songs out of their head. Are you insane? Here we go. Can you name me 10 Prince songs that are better than R. Kelly? <laughs> Is he serious? Is he serious? Purple Rain. I would die for you. Computer Blue. Darling Nikki. Kiss. Raspberry Beret. Seven. Cream. Uh, uh, what was another one? Uh, 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 I got one more to go. I got one more to go. Uh, 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 let's go crazy. What the, what the hell is he talking about? What is he talking? R. Kelly wrote some of Michael Jackson's songs. <laughs> Here we so go. So what are we talking here about? Here we go. Here, here we go. People call R. Kelly a musical genius for a reason. Pause. And what the fuck do you think they've been calling Michael Jackson and Prince? Slacks? Hacks? Thieves? No. They've been calling these dudes geniuses forever. Again, Michael has been in the game since he was a child. Since he was a child, okay? R. Kelly probably would have tried to date him. <laughs> are you out of your fucking mind? Here we go. He is a musical genius. Michael Jackson was not. He was, he had a great vision. What you say? Tell me he didn't just say that. Cole, you stupid. Y'all, I'm so mad that I got tears coming out of my eyes. Do you know how iconic Michael Jackson is? Shut up, nigga! Like, did this ignorant Negro just say that Michael Jackson was not a musical genius? I should stop listening to this right now. I, I should stop listening to this right now. But I got to make it through this video. You know, I've never finished one Woe Clive video because I can't get through his stupidity. But I'm going to have to for this one. This is years in the making. I've got to get through this one. But he just said Michael Jackson was not a musical genius. Okay, number one. Let's, let's get one thing straight. R. Kelly wrote three songs for Michael Jackson. Only one was a hit. So, to the people in the comment section who are going to say that, that parroted fucking tired ass line, that does not matter that he wrote songs for Michael Jackson. Three songs, one hit. So, what does that tell you overall? If he was such a musical genius as, as Walt Clyde is trying to say, then all three of those songs should have been hits, but they were not. All three of those songs at least would be popular, but they were not. What's better, Man in the Mirror or I Can't Sleep from R. Kelly? R. Kelly, I Can't Sleep, that song was hitting the airwaves heavy when that song first came out. Nigga, in the 90s. He's trying not to make me do this reaction. He's trying to make me walk away from this entire reaction. He is like... What's better, man? <laughs> Who the fuck knows what Can't Sleep is? Who knows that song? You could have chose out of all R. Kelly songs. You could have chose. You could have went with I Believe I Can Fly. You could have went with Your Body's Calling. Uh, uh, you, 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 you could have went with um the one, you know, You Remind Me of My G. <laughs> you could have went with that one. You chose Can't Sleep versus Man in the Mirror. Man in the Mirror could be a goddamn national anthem.
Okay? It could be a national anthem. And this idiot is going to try to tell me or going to try to ask us which song. <laughs> if I take my phone out right now and I ask people what song is better, Can't Sleep by R. Kelly or Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson, they're not even going to know what Can't Sleep is. If you would have said the Can't Sleep remix, the no, 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 no. At least people would have known the remix. People know the remix. They don't even know the regular version. What the fuck? Yo, I can't believe this guy. Is, is it possible that this nigga was a crack baby? Is that possible? Is it? He asks, what song is better? I got to make it through this video. I got to. Here we go. That song was hitting the airwaves heavy when that song first came out. No, it wasn't. No. Okay. Now, now time to fact check. This song was number 27 on the Billboard Hot 100. Number 16 on the Billboard R&B Singles. 59 on the U.S. Top Mainstream. And number 12 on the Top 40 Rhythm Crossover, whatever that means. Do you understand? In its peak position, hold on, let's see its, its peak position. Its peak position in the R&B charts was number one, but that's R&B. Its peak position on the Top 40 was 17. The remix got more play than the regular one. That's why they made the remix. He's making this shit up as he goes along. Here we go. Really, nigga? Let's compare features. Let's compare features. Let's compare Michael Jackson featuring Janet Jackson. What's that song called? Scream? Let's compare that feature to any song from Aaliyah featuring R. Kelly. You tell me that uh, fucking um, Scream is better than Aaliyah's Back, Back, Forth, Forth? Yes. You tell me that's better. You tell me that's better than a uh, back and forth. Yes, it is. Come on, man. It's better. It's like you telling me that scream is better than age ain't nothing but number. Yes. Pause. First of all, age ain't nothing but a number should be fucking canceled. <laughs> okay, because we all know where that song comes from. But but that's besides the point. Scream is better than damn any R. Kelly song you can think of. You want to talk about features? He That song damn near broke the world when it came out. I ain't even. Let's go. Look, I don't care about the message in that song. At the end of the day, that was a hit song. It was a hit, but it's not better than R. Scream. Kelly, he made songs for changing faces. Fucking Sparkle. He Ooh. made songs for Ooh. Cassidy. Ooh. He made songs for Puff Daddy, Biggie. <laughs> he didn't make no songs for Biggie. He didn't make songs for Biggie. What are you talking about? He was on a song with Biggie, but he didn't make a song with Biggie. Now, go back and play Michael Jackson's last album back in, um, I think, 2001. He had a song with uh, Biggie Smalls. 